Okay, just get up on that podium. All right, I'm here. <laughs> that was easy. Now I just need to, oh my gosh. How many people are in the audience? A hundred? A thousand? Don't count. Okay, I can do this. I'm gonna focus on my notes. What did I have written down again? Uh, hello. My, <laughs> Okay, if this sounds like your worst nightmare, you're not alone. Actually, you're one of the estimated 70% of the population that has an intense fear of public speaking. And that's okay, because on today's Wellcast, we've got our triple P method that will get you through and get you calm during that next oral report and keep your breakfast where it belongs. You ready? Many polls list public speaking as the most commonly reported phobia among Americans. It's called glassophobia, meaning literally fear of the tongue. A study by Texas Christian University tested 48 women and 48 men enrolled in a public speaking class and found that those who exhibited high trait anxiety had the most physical symptoms of distress when speaking publicly. So what if you're the kind of person whom any bit of social acrobatics is tantamount to entering a lion's den? Hey, calm down. Okay, I'm just kidding, but seriously, calm down, all right? We've got our triple P method that'll get you through that next public speaking gig. Pause and print this Wellcast worksheet. Step one, prepare, prepare, prepare. We said it three times because it's that important. There are two things that go into being prepared. Number one, knowing your subject backwards and forwards. Two, knowing exactly how you're gonna present it step by step. In your Wellcast worksheet, write down the major points that you wanna get across to the audience. Get the ideas out of your head and onto the paper. Okay. In the next column to the right, start ordering these points in a logical manner. Arguing your point to the audience and winning them over is like a boxing match. First, start with some fancy footwork, a fact or an anecdote that will hook the audience in and get them to pay attention to you. Then, throw a couple of swings, supporting evidence for your argument, stats, personal stories, Something that will start to convince the audience that you're taking control. And finally, the knockout. A landing blow of statements that's memorable, convincing, and sums up your speech's position. All right, step two. Posture and physicality are key. Part of keeping your anxiety at bay while giving your speech is knowing what to do with your body. Before your speech, avoid large meals or dairy products, which will make you feel like you need to clear your throat incessantly. Bring a bottle of water on stage if you're allowed. Don't be afraid to take sips throughout your speech. It'll keep your voice natural, and it gives you a moment to pause and regain your composure if needed. Stand naturally, not too stiff or slumped. Good posture will help you breathe and speak easier, and it'll let your audience know that you're calm and in control. Step three, panda to your audience. The best public speakers know how to work the room. Don't be completely serious unless the occasion calls for it. Don't read entirely off the cards. Keep a natural cadence and pace. Throw a joke or a side in, it'll draw in a laugh. If there's a silence, then turn that into a joke. Stay natural, self-effacing, and the audience will be on your side. Let's recap. You'd rather face a poisonous reptile than public speak, huh? Well, follow the Wellcast Triple P checklist. Prepare extensively for your speech. Know your content backwards and forwards and figure out the absolute best way to present it and to win over your audience. Watch your posture and physicality. This includes everything from standing naturally to breathing from your diaphragm. And panda to your audience. Keep them in the palm of your hand and with an easy demeanor, natural cadence, and of course, jokes. <laughs> Tweet us at WatchWellCast, email us at watchwellcast at gmail.com, or leave a comment down below. We'll see you next time.